Today I'm reviewing the Elite 40 Outdoor Pickleballs from PCKL or Pickle, however you want to pronounce that. I picked these up off of Amazon and played a few games with them, enough to nearly wear off the uh, ink on the ball. So I think we got in about um, 20 games with these balls. So these are USAPA approved pickleball, so they can be used in tournament play. And they seem to be a very good ball. Now, um, I wanna start out by saying when I initially ordered these, I got them off, like I said, I got them off Amazon. And it appeared that the box had, well, the box had been damaged. It was torn along here on both sides which led me to believe that the ball had the balls had been crushed somehow. And in fact, when we got out to the courts and started playing with them, the trajectory of the ball was very unpredictable. It was kind of kind of wiggling through the air, uh, if you will, while we were playing with it. I reached out to Pickle uh, both through their online contact form and through Instagram. They just recommended that I replace them through Amazon. I don't want to talk so much about their support. I want to talk about these balls. So uh, it does say that they're designed for competitive play. They have su superior speed off the paddle. I did find that they come off the paddle quite well. Uh, probably the best, com you know, the ball that a lot of people use is the Franklin X40 or the Onyx that's used through the PPA. I think this, these compare more to the X40 than the Onyx. The Onyx seems to be a, a thicker ball, like the the material seems to be thicker. Um, they did seem very durable. We did play with them in the first time, the first set that seemed to be warped were, I think we were playing in the mid 40s. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't the temperature because like right out of the bag, they were, they were kind of unpredictable. And as soon as we switched balls, all four of us noticed a difference in the way that they played. Again, so I guess the big key here is if you order any balls from anyone off of Amazon, if the box is damaged, immediately send them back. They've probably been crushed under something heavy and um, just get make sure you get an undamaged box of balls. I just assumed that the box had been torn a little in packing, but that wasn't the case. All right. <laughs> Back to the balls themselves. These run $12.99 for a set of four. So you're looking at about $3 a ball if you only order four. I think if you order 48 or 100, you get an you know, even bigger discount. So not a cheap ball, but not on the high end as far as I've seen for price. One thing that I really did like about these balls and playing with them is they didn't have that mushy feel. You know what I'm talking about. The thicker balls, they feel a little mushier they hold up longer they tend to hold up longer but i just don't like the way they play and uh, the the surface of them and this this is one of those the surface of them isn't as smooth so when a ball like this hits the ground it tends to catch the court a little bit more and these will sort of slide a little bit more off the ground so uh, there are different ways in which balls perform um, I was again surprised. So this is, you know, these are both outdoor balls and it looks like the holes are a different size. I'm not sure these, this is an, a USAPA approved ball or not, but you can see the color difference. And then here's even another brand that I'm going to be reviewing later a color difference there as well. So these are very bright. They're easy to see. Um, if you're playing at dusk and you don't have lighting, these are going to be a lot better to play with than say an orange ball or a blue ball or whatever other color that you have. You want something bright that you can that you can see. As far as cold weather durability, like I said, the first set that we played with was in the mid 40s and we were hitting them pretty hard. Another brand that's very popular that I've played with in 40 degree weather would crack after like two or three games. I think if you're looking for a ball that you can play with in colder weather, this would be a good ball for you. 
one of the things that we run into in the Northeast a lot is we're going to be playing in cooler weather, especially in the mornings. We just had a week of warm weather and temperatures are going to drop again and, and they're going to be in the 40s and the 50s again in the mornings. So going out and playing in the morning, you want a ball that's not going to crack on you. So with all that said, would I recommend this ball, the Pickle Elite 40? Absolutely. Go out and get this ball. I'm John, your Gen X grandpa. These have been the Pickle Elite 40, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.